Hendrick here and I'm making you chocolate sauce. This is great. You can use this to make chocolate fondue or just to put on top of brownies or for chocolate sundae, whatever you want. I have melted chocolate here. I was actually making chocolate straw uh, strawberries earlier, but you know, now I have this chocolate and you know, I want to use it up. I have some water over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some of this this water into the chocolate just like this now this is a no-no because it's gonna make the chocolate seize but really if you put enough water into here what's going to happen is that it's going to turn into sauce okay but what we do need here is a little more heat so let's go cook it and now I'm going to stir this up you see how the the, the chocolate is now seizing can you see this how the chocolate has become very lumpy well as soon as it gets warm now with the addition of the water it's actually going to turn smooth again I've done it really at eyesight here but you know for about three quarters of a pound of chocolate about a, a quarter cup to a half a cup of water is sufficient yet a little touch more water here it's always easier to add water than it is to remove it because you can't. You know, then you'd have to add more chocolate and I have no more. <laughs> so here we go. Chocolate sauce is ready. Just like that. You see this? It's very shiny, very beautiful, and it's ready to go. The beauty about this chocolate sauce is that not only is it delicious, but you know it holds well in the refrigerator and then you just have to put it back on a on a bain marie to warm it up and you're ready to go let me try it hmm. delicious <laughs>